Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Mulling Leagues Chaos Cup week number three. And we've got what I think is probably one of the purest mirror matches in the game of Blood Bowl tonight. We've got Nevagana versus the White Skull Windbreakers, an orc mirror match. Chime versus league champion Doug the Minotaur. Let's take a look at standings. In first place, currently Nick Satan, Cenozoic Park, and Lizard Team 2 0 oh, 1 is their record, followed closely behind by the undefeated I Wanna Be Like Doug, Richard Cranium's Dwarven Team. In third place, also undefeated with a record of 2 0 oh, 0, oh, the Underworld Team for El Nuberino's Stairway to Nuffle. Tonight, it's going to be yet another undefeated team, Nevagana versus the White Skull Windbreakers, both teams undefeated. In fact, uh, never gone in fourth place with 2-0-0, oh, and, oh, and the White Skull Windbreakers uh, in sixth place with a record of 1-1-0 one, one, oh, currently. <laughs> I didn't do that with all of them, though. I, did it, I only did it with that one because I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> First up, the home team, never gonna coach by Chime, coming in a TV of 1,090,000 gold this evening. A 12-player roster, two big and blockers, four blitzers, three orc linemen. Oh, SP Beaver. That's a streak, all right. That's, a, <laughs> that's 10 streams in a row. Thank you so much. Three orc linemen and, of course, the Gabo, Rick the we troll rolla number 16 on this roster he has leveled up two of the blockers picked up the block skill that's a great pickup on a strength four player strength four means you're probably rolling two dice sometimes even three and block's gonna make those rolls that much more safe at six players with the block skill on this team out of 11 on the pitch that's absolutely fantastic uh i think never gonna is uh, gonna try to continue that you can see he's been spreading out his svp fairly well here um, trying to pick up those that block wherever he can. The Blitzers, of course, have block. He'll pick something else for the Blitzers, but uh, so far, so good for just two games. He'll be up against League Champion Doug the Minotaurs, White Skull Windbreakers, also an orc team, coming in TV of 1 million right on the nose. 11 player roster. Doug has not been able to skill up anyone yet. He can skill up if he wants to take random. I doubt he'll want to do that. He'll be picking up block on the big on blockers as well, I have to imagine. Uh, he has uh, just the two orc linemen. Otherwise, the roster is exactly the same. Four blitzers, three blockers, uh, the two orc linemen, and a gabo. Both teams have three dedicated fans. Both uh, teams have three re-rolls. Uh, how, how do the two teams play tonight? It's Mirror matches are always tricky, right? Because you're trying to leverage your strengths against basically your own team's weaknesses and your opponent's trying to do the same. So it can be a really tricky dance. Uh, this matchup, I think, is the purest mirror match, or at least one of the purest mirror matches you can get in the game of Blood Bowl, because look at this. There are really no skills at play. He has four blitzers. Four blitzers is always great. You've got four blockers. Chime has six, even better. You do have that goblin with dodge and his stunty. You can get that goblin to where you want him to be. You can uh, bring him in for the assist. You can bring him in to foul. Speaking of which, the White Skull Windbreakers are going to pick up 90k in petty cash. I have to imagine some of that's going to a bribe. And you can bet Dr. Minotaur is going to be trying to negate the advantage of those two big unblockers by his, uh, of his opponent by trying to foul players off the pitch. Um, but this is a running team, right? This is a team that cages up, open up holes, and, and runs through them. Both coaches know this. Both teams are going to behave exactly the same way in that in that manner. Clifeus, thank you so much for the sub. Thirty-one months. I can't. Can you believe that? Thank you very, very much. <laughs> B dot one two three four. Welcome to the stream. I'm slowly learning this game. It's a great game. Um, so, on offense, you want to cage up, bust open that hole, run through it. On defense, you want to stop that. That sounds pretty simple on paper. <laughs> As we all know, it's not quite that simple. And there are there are deviations that both coaches can have depending on how they want to do that. For example, uh, we've seen coaches get real aggressive on defense and just try to lock down a cage in place. We've seen coaches be uh, less aggressive on defense and, and try to just stay in front of the cage. We've seen coaches try to screen out the pitch in case they, they're, they're afraid of a breakaway. Probably not too much of a fear tonight. We probably won't see too many screens, if any at all, but we could see 
coaches getting real aggressive. We could see coaches maybe not getting so aggressive, maybe harassing with a player on defense while keeping the rest of the team in formation and in front to just stop that run. All you have to do is keep them in place. If you can keep them in place, they can't score. You can't score, they can't win. Uh, offense, uh, I think, is going to have a little less variability. These, these cages are going to be formed. Punches are going to be made. <laughs> I think for Chime, he's gonna try. He's gonna have to try to leverage the advantage he has on those blocks. He has six blockers. Make the most of it. Uh, try to get those removals. Try to get those knockdowns. Reduce that MA. Stop. Uh, stop your opponent. Where Doug, I, I have to imagine, <laughs> it's going to be fouling with that goblin as much as possible. Uh, he'll pick up a bribe. He'll go to town uh, and, and try to get those removals. Chime's gonna have to realize that and be cognizant of that, and he's gonna have to not just give up players to be easily fouled. That means he wants to keep his formation structure intact. Can be hard to do if a hole gets cracked open, but uh, otherwise, that's gonna be the game tonight. Pretty pretty standard Blood Bowl, I think. Uh, I am very much looking forward to it. I, I already love Blood Bowl, all right? I love Blood Bowl, and mirror matches are always so interesting to me, just to see how two identical teams can be very differently. Uh, we're a little early, but we'll see if the coaches are ready to go. They are indeed in Discord. <laughs> Clive is thinking for the bits. <laughs> All right, we're just. Uh, just a minute to go before this game gets underway. Clippy says, if an orc dies, we'll all scream meat is back on the menu, boys, right? Uh, sure. <laughs> we'll see if I'll keep clicking this live button, see if we can catch the, uh, the inducement phase on this game. Good evening, BB Nut. Welcome to the stream. Clickety, 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 click. <laughs> I don't want to miss the inducements. <laughs> Let's click around some more. There we go. Game's underway. What's called Windbreakers? Why the extra 65k? They hire someone? Oh, look at this pitch, man. I love this. I love this. Played in like a creek. <laughs> this is amazing. This is going to be a scaven pitch, right? It's got to be. Regular guy, welcome to the stream. Yeah. It looks super rad, man. I love this. I, I don't know. I think it's Skaven. Wait, it can't be Skaven. Skaven's not in. Skaven's not in the game. <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> All right. Five fan factor for the Windbreakers this evening. Three for Nevagana. Oh yeah, Skaven is in the game. You're absolutely right. Skaven is in the game. We have a Skaven team in the cup. <laughs> All right, Nevagana are going to be on defense to start with. Windbreakers did not pick up a a, uh, a bribe at all. In fact, an extra 65k in SPP. Where did that go? I guess he picked up another lineman. How many times am I gonna miss called coach? <laughs> Here's the kick, an officious ref. 
Knocks out, desert you on the line. Five man offensive line, three man defensive line. There we go, I can spell. <laughs> I can spell. <laughs> but you can't. <laughs> oh, an injury to get things started. Removal right out of the gate here for Neva Gonna. They're on offense. One man player advantage. Two back to receive, taking blocks on the line first. There's the removal. Gets a knockdown on the left side of this defensive line now. Ball has been kicked very deep. It's on the 24 yard line, just outside of the end zone over in the right wide zone. Another two die block on the line. Gets a knockdown here on Air Biscuit. Needs a 10 plus to break armor. That's the line taken care of. Doug the Minutes are in an anchor defensive formation. Nevergana has two players in either wide zone. A blitzer and a blocker each. Takes a mark on Bull Snort, the number one big in blocker. Takes a second mark, looks like he's going for the blitz on the left side of this defensive formation. Here it is, two die blitz. Gets the knockdown. Another armor break gets a stun here. Well done. Repositions the blitzer back across the line of scrimmage. Good start here for Nevagona. Now going for that three plus ball pickup. Works out there. Gets it with a six. In the game of Blood Bowl, sixes always succeed. Natural sixes always succeed, that is. Natural ones always fail. I just want to tell you how I was feeling. The number 12 lineman moves forward into the halfback position. Covers the right side of the line. That'll be a turn. Turn one now to the wind skull. Wind skull. <laughs> the white skull windbreakers. Uh, yeah, I've already played my game this week. Right? Yes, I've already played my game this week, so I don't play it until next week. Blitz to get things started for the Windbreakers. They get a knockdown on Let You Down. Oh, there's rats all over the pitch. Good three plus dodge on the left side of the line there with Under Thunder. Turn two now, back to Nevagana. So Doug choosing to keep his defensive formation in check here. Doesn't want to go toe to toe with this massive six player line. Most of which who have the block skill. He says, look man, come to me, bro. Let's go. Ball currently on Nevagana's four yard line. coach in this version of the game have a bonus time pool of 7 minutes 30 seconds you can see Nevagana has dipped into that for 25 seconds they have 7 minutes 5 seconds left for the rest of the game 2 minute timer uh, for each turn if you go over that time limit you can dip into your bonus time Nevagana taking marks on this defense repositioning no blocks taken yet Two die block, here we go. We get a uh, knockdown due to the block skill on the blitzer. Two die blitz, I should say. That's why split or that's why block is such a great skill. It makes one of those die faces that both down face safe. And that's one less die face you have to worry about.
Quite a bit of with orc teams. There's not really any low AV players to target to try to get more player advantage. Yeah, except for except for the gobos. But yeah, you're right. That's why that's why I thought we were gonna have a bribe in play tonight. SP Beaver says, I feel like maybe in the minority, but I really enjoy the addition of the bonus timer. I don't think you're in the minority. I think you would have been in, in the minority when BB3 first came out. People had uh, concerns that it would drag out the game, but uh, that has turned out to not be the case. I think the bonus timer is great as well. All right, advancing this line forward. Nobody back to cage up the ball carrier. Takes a number of marks. Turn two, back to the windbreakers now. Nevagana with the entire team forward of the ball. Doug the Minutes are trying to find a way to open up a hole here and start applying pressure. One minute left in the turn. Tekken 8 came out on Friday. <laughs> I've played, I played it a little bit today for the first time. Uh, I really like it, but I really like everything at first. <laughs> but I, I, susp I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue to like it. I, my play style, I, I, I don't like how it favors offense. Um, but so far, I'm having a blast. <laughs> Two night blitz in the right wide zone coming up. Gets uh, gets a knockdown here. Looking for a big 10 plus. Yeah, I remember when I, I liked Street Fighter 6. I, I've liked, I like every game when it first comes out. <laughs> and then you play it for a bit and you either continue to like it for the next 20 years <laughs> or, or you just don't want to play it anymore. It's a push here. Three seconds left on the clock for the Windbreakers. They're going to dip into bonus time here. So they push back on the right side of the line. And they're going to hold down the fort while pulling back a few players to play secondary. Over on the left. One cheek squeak comes in to take a mark against... Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me you're too blind to see <laughs> the number 13 orc lineman. That is quite a name. <laughs> uh, Street Fighter 5. I like Street Fighter 5 better than Street Fighter 6. It's not broken. Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 5 was broken when it first came out. Uh, but they fixed a lot of it. But by that point, for me anyway, the damage is done. It was just... It was too much of a rushdown game for me. It's just get in your opponent's face and hit buttons. <laughs> Two dive lock. Gets pow and under thunder. Breaks armor. Oh my goodness, those claws. Gets a stun. Good stun if he can convert on this. <laughs> SB says, how did they fit that name on the jersey? Simple. They didn't. <laughs> well, though, that would be awesome if if uh, they patch that in, like, jerseys can have names somehow. I don't know how you do that with all the armor and stuff, but that'd be cool. I think you just have to set up, like, a dedicated space for every uh, chest piece. Dude, I block back at mid pitch here. This works out due to the block skill. Block doing work. Yeah, Tekken 8 introduced uh, a heat gauge. So it's like the first time there's been a gauge in Tekken. Dude, I blitz. 
gets a push out of this. Went after that goblin. Goblins with an AV of eight makes him fairly brittle. Uh, he went uh, seeking out that goblin. That was a good call. Gets a push on that on the blitz, but gets a three die follow up out of this to a pal. Can't break armor though. Well done by Chime. It's the first time there's been a gauge in Tekken, except for like Akuma in Tekken 7, I guess. Uh, so it's a little weird. It's a gauge that's basically uh, when you activate it, <laughs> it makes you uh, more punchy. Like go punch things more. <laughs> and then they have a they have a uh, uh, a rage gauge. It was similar in Tekken 7 when, when your health is low. Uh, you get a super powered basically comeback move so it's it's very offense focused which i don't know how i feel about but i've been having fun so far fails the rush here you fail a rush on a one spends the reroll to get into position for the two die block it's a pow and let you down Breaks armor. Good armor break here. Gets a stun. Chain pushes one cheek squeak. The gobbo out of the way. That big unblocker currently prone. Might be the blitzer for this turn. Turn three. The windbreaker is on defense. Look at the right side of the pitch. Six players, three for each team, just all tied up. Yeah, there's that Blitz. One die, Blitz gets a push on Air Biscuit. He'll take it and he'll follow up. Yes, indeed he will. Pushes Air Biscuit back along the, I'm sorry, pushes uh, Make You Understand back across the line of scrimmage. And now taking blocks on the right side of the pitch, gets a knockdown. They get a two die block now, gets a push. Takes another one die block. This works out due to the block skill. A one die block with the block skill when your opponent doesn't have it, not so bad, really. Takes a one die block again, this time without the block skill, and that's going to be a both down result. Turn four for Nevagana. They currently have the ball on their own two yard line. This has been a bashy, bashy game. Two bashy teams. Doug tried to stay in front of this ball. And then uh, saw an opportunity to start applying pressure. Two die block here. Gets a pow against Air Biscuit. Frees up the ball carrier. Those two extra pieces with block are uh, a pretty good advantage for Chime. Stands up, run around the number four, big end blocker. He's currently in a linebacker. Well, he's not really a linebacker. He's currently where the linebackers are hanging out. <laughs> like I said, did he give the ball to a lineman because he wants all of his blitzers active or does he want to level a lineman? Uh, I imagine he wants to level a lineman. But it also keeps his blockers active. I mean, putting it in the hands of a blocker, right? The same AG. So putting it in the hands of a blocker I'm sorry, of a blitzer makes it a lot more safe, right? With the uh, the block skill. But uh, I think uh, I think Nevagana is going to be leveraging his block skill and trying to get some SPP on his players. He's been doing a real good job of spreading out his SPP, as evidenced by this matchup where Doug has no leveled players and Nevagana has two. comes the blitz rush blitz into a one die blitz with the block skills re-rolls this into a push roll the skull first 
Rerolled into a push. Both teams down to two rerolls for the half. One die. <laughs> he said, Duck could do it. Why can't I do it? One die block into a skull over on the right wide zone. That will be a turnover. Final turn of the first quarter here for the Windbreakers. our league champion losing just I believe just three games last season with his dwarf team repositions duck call into a safety position <laughs> he beat us as man I hope the orcs win <laughs> you know what I don't <laughs> Greg Giller guy says okay that's the chaos renegades pitch you get it coach level 79 oh cool thanks for looking that up I mean, I guess it makes sense. There's a big chaos. <laughs> There's a big chaos symbol right at mid-pitch. <laughs> oh, I'm observant. <laughs> Good block there. Gets a stun out of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, neither did I. It's right there in the middle of the screen. I just didn't even see it. <laughs> 30 seconds left in the quarter. One die blitz with the block skill. They're gonna knock down here, breaks armor. Right on the ball carrier. Gets a stun out of it too, that's a great stun. We'll see if he can convert. Is he gonna try to rush onto the ball? He says, are those rats on the pitch? There are indeed. Took one step. Is he going to rush? He says, nope, <laughs> nope. I'm not going to tempt Nuffle. Oh, no, I didn't get the replay. <laughs> oh, boo. Still, that was cool. <laughs> the second quarter begins here. Never gonna losing the ball here to start the second quarter. We'll see if they can recover. Ball currently marked by a blitzer. And somebody on the pitch is really growly. <laughs> There's two players back toward the left side of the pitch. Two die block gets a foul on Turtle Burp. seconds left in the turn here for Nevagana. They're trying to find out a way to, if not pick up this ball, secure this ball so they can pick it up next turn. <laughs> That's cool, though. <laughs> Dude, I block. It's a knockdown here on Under Thunder. Fifteen seconds to go. Never got him taking blocks that he sees. Reposition some players. Dodges out to take a mark on the one who dealt it. Dodge blitz into a one die blitz. He rolled skulls here. He's gonna re-roll this into a pal. Well, 
Plenty of movement left with this ball. Uh, I was gonna say the ball carrier with make you cry the blitzer. Takes a second mark on the ball. Shifts. Uh, don't tell me you're too blind to see over to the left as well. And that is the end of the turn. Turn five for the windbreakers now. Ball sir, currently sitting on the ground on Nevagana's four yard line in the left wide zone. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's great. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that in the intro. I was like, "What?" <laughs> it was actually my game against Doug. <laughs> I, I was like, "Your player just gave me the finger." <laughs> Minute 13 left in the turn for the Windbreakers, trying to find a way to get back in front of this ball. They'll reshuffle some of this secondary. They take a two-die block on the number 12 lineman. Pushes into the left sideline. Doesn't follow up, he wants to stay on that ball. Here comes the blitz. Going for the surf here, he's got it. Well done. There we go. They were they were brutal. <laughs> Went for the surf. Good way to set up the surf. This is uh, also that's a good way to take out high AV players, right? If you can't, if you can't roll. If you can't roll the armor break dice, you can certainly shove them off the pitch. Regular guy says, "Do you think people who are scared of rats would also be scared of skating?" Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't. You know what? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I think. Well, okay, okay, SP Beaver, you say yes, but what if I just reframe this as, do you think people who are scared of rats would also be scared of Splinter? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good dodge by the Gabo. Windbreakers trying to apply some pressure here. Two players on that bar on that bar on the ball <laughs> i hope they're not on the bar <laughs> they've got a game to play <laughs> that's actually a good point <laughs> if they're going to be scared of any rat it should be splinter <laughs> two die block at mid pitch here gets a push oh no he gets a knockdown ah he gets an injury <laughs> Well done, another removal here for Nevagana. Was that three to two? One man player advantage for Nevagana. No, it's three to one, right? Yeah. Nope, it's three to... Why don't I just count? <laughs> Why don't I just use numbers? <laughs> Ten v eight on the pitch. Two man player advantage. Fails the rush. Rushes always fail on a one. That's how they fail. So if uh, if you're a math major, you know that that works out to nine hundred percent of the time. True story. Don't argue with me. <laughs> Turn six for the windbreakers now. Now we're gonna try to get another player on that ball. Didn't work out. Remember the Windbreakers, this was their half on defense. If they can stop the score, they can consider this a successful half. Two die block into double pals here. Can he get a 10 plus? Yeah. 
breaks armor. Yeah, it's a stun. Good stun here by the Windbreakers. That is a player that is out for a turn. And then when they're back up the following turn, they've lost three points of MA and it's the end of the half. So that's a very good stun here for the Windbreakers. Two die Blitz gets a knockdown on Telali. And that is the ball cleared. Windbreakers with two rerolls. Two die block back at mid pitch gets a knockdown against Desert Ya, the number five blocker. <laughs> yeah, let's find out. Oh my goodness gracious! His leg is going nuts. Somebody get the apothecary quick. <laughs> He's, he has nerve damage. <laughs> Shifts the number seven blitzer back towards the ball. Going for the ball pickup on the goblin. Needs a three plus. Fails it, spends the reroll. Good pickup here by the windbreaker. They have recovered this ball on defense. They'll have two turns to try to score. <laughs> what did I just say about rushing? <laughs> Uses the final reroll. Wants to get a little bit of safety on this goblin here. SB Beaver, thank you for the bits. Turn seven now for Nevagana. Needed to get that goblin, uh, that goblin out of space. Had to burn through his final team reroll to do it. Never gonna with one. I want to see Doug. I want to see Doug run a vamp team. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Two die block gets the knockdown here. Two die block. This one's not going to work out. Spends the final reroll into double pals. Gets a KO. Well done for Nevagana. Lots of removals for Nevagana here, but they've still lost control of the ball. Going for the blitz. The one die blitz on Duck Call. That is going to be a turnover. Oh no! Oh, went for the one die blitz and it didn't work out. Turn seven for the Windbreakers. First order of business is to move one cheek squeak. Yes, indeed. Took the one die blitz, chanced it, rolled into a skull, and removed himself for the trouble. SP Beaver asks, wasn't two halfling teams enough for you last season? Uh, that was fun. <laughs> and uh, Nick Satan running ogres was fun. <laughs> and Clypheus running gobbos was fun. Two Night Block got a pal here on Telalai. Can't break armor here. Windbreakers uh, in very much control of this ball. Not sure what Nevagana can even do at this point. Let's see. Let's see if they have any options. They've got one option. Oh no, they've. Yeah, they've got one option in say goodbye. Well, they've got Hercha, say goodbye. I think that's all they have. And uh, if they're going to actually try to stop this score, they're going to have to pray to Nuffle. Two die block back at the line of scrimmage to get a push. Two die block. Both standing result here. This will not be a... I thought they both had block. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Gets the knockdown. Beefy 82 prays to Nuffle. Let's see if Chime's gonna gonna risk it. He's going for his blocks first. Gets the knockdown on Air Biscuit. 
Trying to put himself in a better position for the uh, upcoming half. Five seconds for Nevagana. He's he's left with one player to go after this ball carrier if he's going to try it at all. Gets a pal here. Okay. Come on, say goodbye. I believe in you, buddy. Not even gonna go for it. He says, you know what? You did good, Doug. You did good. Gonna go for the foul instead. <laughs> Doesn't break armor. Had four assists on that foul, didn't break armor. Uh, I think I think that's a that's a good plan, but the windbreakers are gonna score here. One to zero. They take the lead. Well done to Doug the Minotaur. That's right. Doesn't matter how many bets you roll. <laughs> as long as you roll sixes. <laughs> I really want Wood Elves to be added ASAP. Second half begins here. White Skull Windbreakers are going to be in uh, on offense. They're also in the lead, one to zero. It's gonna be 11 v, 11 v uh, nine. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, 11 v nine on the pitch. Two man player advantage for Nevagana. We'll see if he can capitalize on that and get on the board. Yeah, Necro, Necro for sure. I, <laughs> uh, Amazon's, I, I think Amazon's are not bad at all. At least in the LRB6, I'm not, I haven't really messed with them uh, in the new rule set. Five-man offensive line for the Windbreakers here. They're going up against this three-man defensive line and a whole bunch of linebackers. Never gonna giving up those wide zones. It's gonna need to be real careful here that Doug doesn't try to enclose the defense. Here's the kick. Cheering fans, prayers to Nuffle. No prayers to Nuffle, boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> Two dive block, get things started. Here's a foul here. So Doug the Minotaur, at some point, if Chime's not careful, Doug could say, commit to a wide zone. Normally, maybe that's a, uh, not the greatest idea, but then cut off the defense. If he can just cover, cover a uh, have a covering line here, a protective line, um, then he can give himself an opportunity to run down a sideline and score. Rick's Armour gets a KO here. Well done. One man player advantage now for Nevagana. Shifts a blocker over just into the left wide, I'm sorry, into the right wide zone. Going for the three plus ball pickup. Good pickup there. Three plus with sure hands. So uh, almost, almost a certainty. Turn nine now for Nefagana. Yeah. 
<laughs> Great killer guy says, I've currently faced zero dwarves, and I hope to keep it that way. <laughs> We've got a dwarf team this competition. <laughs> Richard Cradiums, I want to be like Doug. Doug the Minotaur winning last season with a dwarf team. <laughs> fair enough, Clyphus, fair enough. <laughs> Middle linebacker is going to get onto the line here, take a mark on the one who smelt it. I'd stay away from him, but that's cool. It's probably dirty. LD Bruna says, Dwarfs are why I took Claw on my Red Ogre. You're doing the Lord Nuffles work. Takes marks over on the right. This contingent on the right sideline takes a mark with the goblin that suggests he's coming in for the blitz here. Here it is. Two die blitz. Double skulls. This will work out. Or both down results, rather. Works out due to the block skill. Yeah, but that was just... That was because War Horseman didn't... His... His, uh, <laughs> his coordinators for the week just forgot to tell the Rat Ogre not to, not to murder his own team. <laughs> that's all that was. <laughs> he said, go out there and murder! And that's exactly what he did. Seven seconds left in turn. Number nine for Nevagana going right to the line with their defense here. Marking everybody. Five minutes, 30 seconds left in bonus time for Nevagana. Each team with three rerolls remaining for the game. Wow, Nevagana just gone right to the line here. Keeps one blitzer hurt ya back in a linebacker position. And now two die block for the windbreakers. One of many. There's one. Two die block over in the right wide zone gets a push. He won't follow up here. Uh, Stink four, mm, maybe. <laughs> That's exactly what he sounded like. He's like, boss, did I murder? Boss, boss, did I murder? Good. <laughs> Oh, sorry, boss. Elder Rita says, I like orcs, and I love both teams' naming schemes. Me too. <laughs> Gets a stun here. Ball currently on the Windbreaker's own 12 yard line. Thirty seconds left in turn ten for the windbreakers. Gobble's going to advance to the four yard line, right behind the line, the contingent uh, on the left side of the line here. Did I tell you? I think I said this last night, but did I tell you? I bought a new car a couple of weeks ago. On day one, I hit a pothole. <laughs> and then uh, either, I think it was yesterday or the day before. No, it was yesterday. I was, I was in the shop getting a new tire. Oh, man, give me a break. <laughs> Breaks over here on the left side of the pitch. Gets a stun. Turn 10 back to Nevagana. They have... Uh, uh, never got his on defense, rather, and the Windbreakers have the ball on their own four-yard line. I 
I need Chime before this season's over. If he's going to run Orcs all season, uh, I need him to, for one turn, <laughs> for one turn, action his players in lyric order. <laughs> That's what I need him to do. Please do that, Chime. If you can do that, if you can do that, you're the season champion. <laughs> Good dodge by that uh, goblin. Remember, they have the dodge kill and they're stunty. Get a free, uh, free reroll in the dodge, which you took there. Takes a mark on silent, but deadly. He's the ball carrier currently. Here comes a blitz on the ball carrier. GFI blitz, or a, a rush blitz. Gets the knockdown here, breaks armor. Where's the ball gonna scatter? Scatters into the hands of the one who denied it. Not the scatter he was looking for. Got a good stun though. Went in for that GFI blitz. I'm gonna call it GFI forever, aren't I? For the rush blitz. Broke armor, but Windbreaker is going to retain control, retain possession of the ball. Oh, well, mighty blow is a devastating combination. <laughs> BB Nut says it's still a GFI, damn it. <laughs> One dive block into a push on the right side of the pitcher where the ball is. Never gonna go in for the dodge here. This is a 50 50 dodge. Fails it. He says that's fine. And that's a turnover. Turn 11 now. Back to the windbreakers. They're in the lead. 1 to 0. Currently in possession of the ball. The one who denied it. A blitzer with the block skill. Two die block has to re-roll it into a push. Windbreaker's down to two re-rolls. Tried to clear the ball carrier. Didn't quite get there. He's going to try it again here. This time gets a pow. Thirteen left on the clock for the White Skull Windbreakers. Lots of their players are marked here. They're trying to find out what is the right order of events to take here. They have three open players over on the left side of the ball here. Two blockers and a gobo. One die blitz into a skull, spends a reroll into a push. Took a blitz with the ball carrier. This is going to open up a hole. Decided to follow up. Oh, didn't think he could keep the ball carrier safe. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe that was a misclick on the follow up. Two die block back at mid pitch. Gets a knockdown here. Breaks armor. Gets a stun. Good stun. Send a goblin back to exercise some tackle zones. So Doug's got the ball carrier here, and uh, he's he's taking a mark on these players. He's got tackle zones here. He's got tackle zones here. Tackle zones here.
two die block on Turtle Burp gets the knockdown. This freeze up lets you down. Let you down with that strength of four. You can get a two die blitz on the one who denied it. Probably will too. But never got it with two rerolls. Might try to pull somebody back first. It's gonna go straight for the blitz. Two die blitz into a push. Will he re-roll this? He does. Really wanted the knockdown there. Got a push out of it regardless. A push to the left. He'll follow up for sure. Never got it down to one re-roll for the game. Oh, I want to watch Blade Runner 2049 again. I really like that movie. Two die block back at mid pitch gets a push on the one who smelt it. Plus dodge. I thought he might have tried that first before going for the blitz, just to try to lock down the ball carrier. Oh, I would have. I would have gone this way. I would have gone over here. <laughs> Decided he didn't like the position he was in. He's going to rush here and uh, fails the roll, and that's going to be a turnover. Two turns there. The coaches uh, seem to second guess a. a a movement they made worked out for Doug, but didn't work out for Chime. Turn 12 now for the Windbreakers. There's an old there's an old Blade Runner video game that they remastered like a couple years ago. I want to play that again too. It's like a adventure game, like a point and click adventure game. Blitz right out of the gate. Two die blitz into a push on let you down. That's all he needs to free up the ball carrier. The windbreakers can go up 2-0. They'll be in good, good shape to win this game. goes the one who denied it the ball carrier on the opposing 22 yard line on the right wide zone now it's going to be real hard real hard for never gonna to try to stop this in fact i don't know who even can let you down absolutely can spends a final re-roll here into a double push on the number 12 lineman Turn 12 for Nevagana. Really only... I mean, run around can... Uh, let you down can absolutely stop this... Stop this score. AG4 plus ain't the greatest. He's going to blitz it for the double pal instead. Not going to dodge. Not going to go off for the ball carrier. Or rather, he's not going to block the ball carrier, but he's certainly going to go after the ball carrier. It's a rush to get a mark on the ball carrier. He probably wants more than one. He'll probably come out here and here. Here's one rush. SP Beaver with the emergency rush warning. Just in the nick of time, it worked out. Chime has your thanks. Thank you for the bits. One die block on one cheek squeak. I'm sorry, two die block on one cheek squeak. Uh, gets a push out of this. One die block on the goblin. Get out of here. Two die block gets a push on the one who smelt it.
<laughs> Clamp is thinking for bits. <laughs> I think Jurassic Park. I think Lizardman. <laughs> I think Sarsis. Dude, I block it to push. <laughs> Why did I not notice the sound effect before next game? <laughs> 15 seconds left in uh, the third quarter here. Good dodge to bring Say goodbye back. Is he going to try to rush? I don't think he needs to. He can't get anything out of the rush, so I don't think he wants to do it. Takes a one die block back at the line of scrimmage. This will be a good knockdown due to that block skill. Block a great skill. Dodge a great skill. Block and dodge a great combo. Good free plus dodge by Rick Rollo, the number 16 goblin. Trying to get players into position just to prevent Doug from getting anyone back to the ball carrier. <laughs> Clivius, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Turn 13, fourth and final quarter of this game. The White Skull Windbreakers have the ball on the opposing 22 yard line on the right sideline. They are marked by a big and blocker with the block skill. They're in the lead. They're looking to score. Fool! Failed the dodge, and that's a turnover. Whoa! Went for the dodge with the goblin. Didn't work out, and now this ball carrier in danger of being surfed. He got a free reroll on... Uh, on that dodge because he has the dodge skill, but you can only re-roll a die pool once. So because he failed the free re-roll, that was it. Two die block, <laughs> double skulls, no! Nuffle, Nuffle with the sense of humor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Turn 14 for the Windbreakers. <laughs> Went right for it. Um, I don't know if he had some move, like, Bull Snort probably should have moved first. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. The bronze says the RNG. Yeah. Another name for our great Lord Nuffle. <laughs> One dive block with a pal. He got it. He'll follow up. Well done by the Windbreakers. Two to zero the score. Somebody got their prayers to Nuffle in today. <laughs> well done by Doug the Minotaur. Increases his lead two to zero. Never gonna gonna be on offense for uh, what is likely to be the final time in this game. Lord, Lord, failed dodge with a dodge skill, double skulls, single pow into a TD. Windbreakers to set up. They have nine players on the pitch. <laughs> the Brunson's knuckles angry at someone. <laughs> Nevagano's gonna have three turns left. Windbreakers with two. He's gonna set up with three players on the line. Everybody else is going back to the end zone. Currently a five-man offensive formation for Nevagano. They have two back to receive with no kicker. Well, they don't really have the speed. I, I don't know, with no kicker, I'd probably just leave one back. But yeah, time is time is running out. <laughs> Only five pushes to pull off a of one turn. <laughs> BB Nut says, is Doug the Minotaur the league's best player? Um, I don't know. I hesitate to say who the best player is, because you know, best means a whole bunch of things. But Doug is the current league champion and had and had an amazing season last season. Uh, there's no denying he is one of the best, for sure.
Turn 14 for Nevagana. Two die block. Got a pal here on the line of scrimmage. Like if you meant who's the best at getting beaten up on the pitch, that's me. <laughs> that's my title. Sending a player down pitch over in the left wide zone. That's uh, the number 12 orc lineman. No rerolls for either team. Sends a combo down pitch as well. Can't be thinking about a pass. I mean, he could be thinking about a pass, but these blitzers have animosity towards their entire team. Yeah, we actually have um, on the website. We have we have historical stats. You can. You can uh, filter, you can sort, you can group, um, and you can see you can see how various different coaches have performed. You can also uh, get a subset for either all time or certain certain seasons or certain competitions. So you can see uh, you know who has the the biggest win percentage ever, or who scored the most touchdowns, or what races have performed the the best. It's under league stats, I think. Good pick up by the Blitzer. Trying to hand off at the Blitzer. Got through the animosity roll, but couldn't, couldn't succeed on the catch. And that's a turnover. Turn 15 now. Team stats, is that what it is? Thanks, SVU. Blitz and a goblin. Why not? Two die block gets the knockdown here. Can he get the A plus? A plus fairly fragile, but couldn't get it. Yeah, but but who has the fastest time from car purchase to back in the shop? That's me, baby. <laughs> best best of all time. Two die block at mid pitch here gets a pal. Takes a one die block, gets a knockdown here as well. Just looking for some blocks, looking for some SPP. It's a stun. Turn 15 for Nevagana. Two turns left to try to get on the board. It's a big ask. Let's we'll see if they can pull it off. Two die block gets a both standing result out of this. Camry's awesome. Camry, Camry is great so long as the game doesn't have a ball. <laughs> 
Navagana moving players up to the line of scrimmage. Looking to make something happen here. He'll try the ball pick up with Telalai again, but that blitzer, remember, has animosity toward everyone. So any handoff or any pass, he's going to have to get through the animosity roll. BB now says Camry is great. It was better back in the LRB4, though. I don't remember the change. I mean, LRB4, it's a long time ago. I don't remember the change from that to five or six. What? What? What made them better? Oh. <laughs> that's that's really good. <laughs> that's really good. Good dodge by the goblin. Go. Ooh. Risking his goblin here on a blitz. Didn't work out though. He's trying to make something happen. Turn 16 for the windbreakers. I don't think Nevagana can get anything. Let's see. They've got run around. One, two, three, four, five. Run around can make something happen, but he's uh, he's the only one I think. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, run around. The only player who can score at this point. Doug's gonna make sure he's marked and murdered. Two die block. That's all he needed. Gets knocked down. Nevagun is not gonna be able to get on the board. This is gonna end. Two to zero in the windbreaker's favor. Well done. Two die block. Gets a knockdown. And say goodbye. Looking to pick up some more SPP here. Gets a pal and desert ya. Breaks armor. Gets a stun. One dive lock into a skull. That'll be a turnover. Final turn of the game coming up. Never gonna. Looking for some SPP. Maybe a GG foul. Two die block gets the knockdown here. Might go in for the, the one assist foul. Oh, you can make that two assists. Oh, actually, you might go in the foul here on Bull Snort. Could also try to pick this ball up for some SVP. If everything else works out, uh, why not, I suppose? Otherwise, he could try to get it in the hands of, say, a lineman who just has animosity towards other linemen. Look, he's going for the foul. Four assists on the foul here against Bull Snort, currently. Oh, ogres, man. Six assists on the foul. <laughs> Four plus on this foul. Here we go. He's got it. Well done. Well done. Could still go for a pass if he wishes. You can pick it up with Gotta Make You Understand. It's a GFI. Uh, a rush, rather. Looks like he's gonna do it. Got the ball. Going for the throw. There it is. Well done there. Well done. He threw it to another lineman, so that still had to be an animosity roll. Could have thrown it to the blitzer and not had the animosity roll, but it worked out either way. And uh, got some extra, extra SPP there. This game ends 2-0 to zero in the Windbreaker's favor. Congratulations, Doug the Minotaur.
Lots of blocks, but of course, right? Of course, it, they're two bashy teams. SPP for the evening. Nine for Nevagana. 12 for the Windbreakers. Not a bad pickup at all. And after that win, the White Skull Windbreakers move ahead into first place here in week three. Two, one and oh is their record. Senezoa Park drops down to second and Nevagana in sixth place. They're still uh, very much in the race. There's still, uh, there's still more games we played in week three. There's still three more weeks in regular play of the Chaos Cup before the Cup of Top Four. And then there's two more open competitions in the season. So tons and tons of Blood Bowl yet to be played. And next up, we have a double header tomorrow night, man, uh, Monday? <laughs> Monday. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow night, Monday, January 29th at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's uh, UTC minus five. That's going to be the Dead Poets versus Maximum Boncito. S. Beaver versus Malik. Undead versus is lizards i believe and then uh following that game uh we have the second game of our double header to close out week three it's going to be stairway to nuffle versus i want to be like doug l nuberino versus richard cranium uh stairway to nuffle is i always forget what stairway to nuffle is <laughs> a team <laughs> A team versus dwarves. <laughs> Underworld, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Underworld versus dwarves. That'll be great as well. Uh, I'm looking forward to both of those matches. Man, what a fun game this is, man. After that, after tomorrow night, week four will begin for our coach. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> After tomorrow night, we'll begin week four. Coaches will begin scheduling their games. And when those games get scheduled, you'll be able to check out and get alerted to those schedules on our website at mammal.club. That's M-A-M-L dot C-L-U-B here on Twitch or on our social media pages on Blue Sky, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also watch previous games on our YouTube channel. Play Blood Bowl, man. <laughs> Where else? <laughs> Where else <laughs> can a song <laughs> face off against a bunch of smelly orcs? <laughs> you can play Blood Bowl via Blood Bowl 3 on Steam, the Epic Game Store, PlayStation, and Xbox, and in tabletop form at your friendly local game store. Until tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care, everybody, and enjoy the rest of your weekend.